can I just say, I, I really am so sorry for holding on to the previous bunch of videos for as long as I have. I, I blame Misery Mondays for getting in the way of things, because I've been focusing on that, and barely anything has been coming out. I've got so many videos in reserve that still have to be uploaded, and this being one of them, apparently. But... I'm not going to talk about that right now, because there's no real point to doing so. We need to go and play in games and more. Because as you can see, it's 5.0, and Home Run Contest is now a thing. But, of course, we're doing Classic Mode, because Heads of Tommy's Joe Chuck Raising will back to some more Super Ma Smash Bros. Ultimate. In the last episode, things happen. In this episode, Banjo and Kazooie are now perfect partners. I... <laughs> I played one match with them just to try them out a little bit, and I do like how they play. I haven't seen any of the ultimate costumes, so we're gonna look at them right now. So there's the regular one, it's the pink one we've already seen. Oh, that brown is fine. Oh, the polar bear one too, that one's pretty good. Oh, there's a crunchy one! Yes, please! Take me to that one. That's gonna be mine. I think the other ones are pretty cool as well, but... Oh, well. Here we go, more classic mode again. I knew I was going to be doing this. <laughs> of course, I'm fighting them right from the beginning. Also, on the new stage as well. Uh, I like to say I like the new tracks a lot that they've added. So, stuff like. Uh, they added Freeze Easy Peak and Gobi's Valley and Treasure Drug Cove. They also had the Mr. Patch boss fight, which is really good. God damn, I love this color scheme for the Grunty. Thank God I didn't see this before. Let's pick that up. It's it's Tiki. Okay, Tiki can run away. Take this egg and throw him over there. Oh shit! And that is how you win. Oh look at the shorts as well. I didn't even notice the shorts. That. Oh wow. Thank God I didn't see this before. The only ones I saw was the pink one that was already kind of known from a screenshot, and I went and looked at the actual Smash Bros. website afterwards, and it showed that there was the Polar Bear one. Also, Treasure Trove Cove being played right now. Gotta appreciate that. Also, a pretty good thing. Remember all those things I did during the LP of Banjo-Kazooie? It's kind of an interesting thing. Like, Banjo-Kazooie as an LP was kind of interesting for me, because it was the first time I did uh, a recap for an LP, because I thought to do so. And... Magic Kazoo was also uh, an interesting thing as well. <laughs> there was a power surge during the final boss. That was fun. Ice Climbers. Now, of course it's going to be Freeze Easy Peak. Why wouldn't it be? Also, ten uh, tracks for a song. That's a nice choice. Pretty appreciate that. But yeah, yeah. from what I've played and what I'm playing again right now, I think Band is going to be rotating into my pool of mains. Because I do like his playstyle a lot. He's got the multi-hit aerials that I like. He's got... Some power, some decent projectiles, including this grenade egg, which I just slapped Kazooie. And I suppose his other moves too, like, uh, I didn't show it, but his side B is pretty good as well. It's invulnerability, and you're gonna use it five times a life. And it's all good. Oh, what is that? Get that box out of here before I start doing anything. Also, the talent trot as well, that's an interesting thing too. <laughs> he blew himself up! Good job, Ice Climbers, good job. Oh, every time it zooms in on that banjo, I just love it over and over again. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, I guess I could say it too. Because, predictably enough, this is, like, the next day of from when things came into fruition. Um, the fourth Smash character, as DLC announced, was Fatal Fury's Terry Bogart. I have never played a Fatal Fury game, and I thought he was an alright addition. The SNK rumors were real, but... It's not like I really cared too much about that. I'm fine with it being Terry Bogart, but the other good thing that they announced alongside Terry Bogart was that there's going to be a ton more uh, DLC fighters. Or maybe not a ton more, but at least a few more DLC fighters after the initial five. So there's going to be like a season two, essentially, of the Battle Pass, which is great. See the grenade on the side. Good job. And of course, there were some other things that got added in the 5.0 update. Um, downloading Mii Fighters from online, you can take those moves that they have and swap them around as much as you want. So if you don't like a moveset that someone already made of a character, 
you can just take that move set and mess with it as much as you want. Slam! God damn! Banjo is too good. I can't wait for, like, it'd be fun to have Rob come over and we have battles with Banjo and Joker. You just dropped the bomb for me, okay. That's not very smart of you. That's what they call a smart bomb. Let him run away. Jeez. We just keep moving on. It's a shame we're not listening to the music. Boy, it's a given. Now we're running with Doggy and Diddy. Hey, DKC Return, that ain't Banjo Kazooie music. I know you guys are related in some way because Banjo did the first appear during Diddy Kong Racing. But damn, dude. Oh, the beehive too. Why wouldn't I use a beehive? Oh, no, he had a beehive. Shit. No, this is not what I wanted to happen. It technically could happen because of uh, the beehives in Banjo Kazooie. The irony is not lost on me. There goes Diddy. <sighs> also, the music. We'll probably do like uh, a couple of other battles because his uh, windscreens are pretty good. <laughs> Jeez. Why am I at 120%? I didn't even notice that until just now. Go, Banjo. Use the invulnerability move. Oh, yeah, I haven't had to use it yet, but the, the up B as well for Banjo. Rather interesting. Just the jump pad, which can hit enemies. Come on now, Diddy. You are being in the way. And by in the way, I mean you're not cooperating. Oh, wait, I have a, I have a super scope as well. I was like, what the heck? Come over here, Diddy. Ah, oh, you... Please. I need you to stop and run away. Get over here. You fell for it. Get trapped. Nice. Move on. To the bonus stage. For the important things. Perfect part this bonus game. Damn. I don't want to keep saying it, but I love this costume for Banjo. It's probably my favorite costume. Like, out of all of them. And I'm happy with that. Like I've seen, seen like people are just like making concepts of what the banjo alternates could have been, and some of them are pretty good. But I'm I'm fairly certain that the choices that they made for these are fairly good. Also, this dash is really good, real real fast. I appreciate it. I need to keep remembering that he's got like a, a triple jump instead of a double jump. He's one of the few characters that do have triple jumps. Yeah, look at that speed! Banjo the Speed Demon. So you've got the, uh, the... I can't remember the name, the sneakers. They have a name, but I can't remember what they're called. Talon Shot! No, that's the actual dash. Shit. It's been too long, okay? Forget about it. What boss are you gonna fight me against? Master and Crazy Hand. Okay, that was a bit too straightforward for me to guess. There they are. Let's go. Oh, damn. Look at the damage that Banjo's doing. Shit, me. Oh, yeah, I also suppose that with 5.0, there might have been some patches to characters that weren't really announced initially, but I'm not too sure. So maybe there is, maybe there isn't. Take this, Master Hand. You deserve naught but a lot. Oh, Mr. Crab. That's, that's good, at least. Hand pulses. Oh, shit. Confusion. Now nah, you there. Just get Master Hand out of here and then dodge. Oh no, I didn't get a dodge. Oh, don't flick me, you prick. Come on. I bet I can do this. That's like the thing, like, oh god, I was a bit too early on that. Early on this too. Invincibility. Damn. Dodge, please. I'm holding the shield button. Don't kill me. Damn it! But I'm so good. Come on now, crazy hand. You need to perish. It's funny a little bit. 165. Banjo is ready. Gun. Gun mode. Breagle blaster. <laughs> shit. Oh god, why didn't they come down there? Stop that. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. This is getting perilous. No! How am I still alive? I don't get it! 
<laughs> that'd be good, just a kick with the foot. Now that I think about it, yeah, that, that up neutral, or that up tilt is actually pretty funny. How it, he stands on the Kazooie, or Kazooie stands up whilst in the backpack, and the foot goes up high in the air, that's fun. <sighs> nice work. And for the credits, which will most likely be skipped over because you've seen this already so many times before. And there he is! Alright, it's the next one, I forgot about that somehow. But yes, that is the bonus, or the classic mode of Banjo-Kazooie! How for them? Also Banjo and Kazooie. So at least they use that way to refer to them. I mean, it's technically what it is, but like, the title of the game is Banjo-Kazooie. So, it's accurate. Alright. Let's do a single battle first, because there's been one big stick in the mud that I've been not mentioning for a little while, because with the 5.0 update, um, there was something that got added. Also, look at this uh, new character select screen. They've shrunk it down a little bit, so some characters are shunted off or whatever, by the way. There's Banjo again. But uh, there is a certain character that got added. That is a fairly interesting sight to see, and it took the whole world by storm, even if it only happened just yesterday at time of recording. That's right, uh, Sans Undertale is actually in Smash Bros. as a me costume for the gunner, and with him comes Megalovania as a bonus track. What an interesting thing to have added, and also to have brought up at basically nowhere. It was interesting to see. Plus, um, you may have... Actually, you probably wouldn't even have missed it, but... I didn't do a reaction video to the Direct this time, because I felt like it was a bit too late, even though the last one was quite late, and I didn't want to do things besides... That Direct went a bit late anyway, when it's a midnight. I didn't want to do that for midnight. That's me. But yeah, that direct went pretty interestingly, and all the things that were announced went pretty well. I liked how the New Horizons looks with Animal Crossing and other things too. Uh, Divinity was an interesting surprise. I was an interesting surprise. Seeing the new stuff in Luigi's Mansion 3 looks great. This bunch of things that look great. And, you know. Banjo was shadow dropped, and Sans Undertale suddenly showed up and made everyone funny. There we go. Can we get the final smash off? There we go. The mighty Gingernator! Pew 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 pew. Take that, Sans. Sans from Undertale. And, but yes, uh, the mix of the Megalovania put into this game with this costume was uh, made by Toby Fox. So that's a good thing to do. Oh shit! I fell for the Jake. Oh whoa, okay. Come now, Sans. You're not that type to fight against me. He approaches me. But yeah, the other uh, the final costumes that he added were pretty interesting. Like in, the re in returning costumes, I believe they added uh, Proto Man and Zero back in from four. And for new costumes, they had Goemon from Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon, and the Team Rocket outfits, which are pretty cool. And then, of course, this was the one that everyone is so crazy about. Because even as a joke, uh, Sans for Smash is now real. And it's strange to believe. Oh well. I can't let Sans win. Because if he wins, then he takes over the internet for the next week. Oh, okay. Managed to make it supply, but oh well. Take that sand. It's interesting how he has the gas to blaster is this uh, stupid shot thing. It's fun. No, oh, I like that one. With the kazoo making the music. That's great. Oh, what an 
Genji Note. And because it's tradition, we're gonna do one single little spirit match. We're gonna do one of the new ones. I should mention first, uh, I played the demo for Dragon Quest XI S, and because I played that, I got a new spirit of uh, the little creatures. I can't remember the name. That's not the one I want to keep going into. It's Collection. You have good memory, Josh. Good memory. Although you're going to be spending most of your time now messing about. So yeah, this is what I got. The Tockles. And Badger Kazooie was what we just got. And Gruntilda, because I saw, him, saw her in the shop earlier. So let's us do one mission, or one spirit battle, in the new DLC board. <laughs> Feels like just yesterday that I did one for the hero. Oh well. Oh look at them, there's a one up in the corner as well. Um, hmm, I don't know which to choose. Let's go with 2D. Diddy Kong. Enemy shields often, magic attacks under the effect of against the enemy. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I suppose in terms of uh, DLC and the announcement of the new wave that they're going to be doing for the DLC, um, I suppose I'm going to still go with my good guesses of having a, rep have a representation, even if it is in the new universe, and Phoenix Wright. But for like other characters that they could possibly add, um, we have discussions. With, uh, me and my friend have been talking about uh, Handsome Jack from Borderland. It's not likely, but it would be fun to see. Like, what music would they even include? I don't know. But yeah, Handsome Jack would be fun. And uh, some other friend mentioned Monokuma who's from Danganronpa. That would also be pretty ridiculous to see happen. Oh, hello, Badger. It's me from another universe. How could I guess? That's how it goes. There we go. But yeah, from, from the fighters, I'm not too sure. I mean, some people are saying, like, okay, Gino still has a chance, which I'm not gonna put against it. I mean, if Gino gets in, that's gonna be fine, but if anything, he's probably gonna be uh, a returning me fighter costume, which is alright by me, even if he isn't solely lost. I mean, I didn't get Ashley, I'm not gonna bitch about it. And I. I mean, not like a Waluigi deserved a spot anyway, but that's getting into controversial territory, which isn't really important anyway. So, I I keep saying what's happening next, but I, I don't get the time to get to what the next video is going to be on for Smash Ultimate. I promise you, it's going to be on Smash Down. Alright? Smash Down will happen eventually. <laughs> Providing things don't catch up to me like this. So I will see you then. I hope you enjoyed this banjo video. And uh, never forget Sans for Sans. <laughs>